Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about solving two-step equations. Our target here is to find the value of the variable or the missing variable. Last time we have uploaded the video, we're in, we solve one-step equations and you can see it here. And I will put the link in our description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first two example or the first two examples of equations that we have in this tutorial video. First, we are asked to solve for the missing variable of this equation and this equation. But basically, what are the steps on how to solve two-step equations? First, it's either you need to add or subtract to eliminate the constant. Second, we will multiply or divide to eliminate the coefficient with the variable. So let's start with number one. We are asked for 2x plus 5 is equal to 21. What must be the value of x in this equation? So first step we need to do is to eliminate plus 5. From our previous video, to eliminate plus 5, we need to use its opposite operation or inverse operation. If this is plus 5, what we need to do is to subtract 5. And to make it balance, or to balance the equation, since we subtracted here 5, we also need to subtract 5 here on the other side of the equation. So what will happen, this plus 5 minus 5, it will become 0. Or we can simply eliminate this part of the equation. So what remains here on the left side of the equation is that we have 2x, and on the other side, we have 2x, 21 minus 5, which is equal to 16. So we subtracted 5 on both sides of the equation. Now, our second step, it's either we will multiply or divide. Here, since 2 is with the variable x, what we need to do is to divide both sides of the equation by 2. In this case, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, or simply, we can eliminate this 2, and what we have now is x is equal to 16 divided by 2, which is equal to 8. And this is the value of x for item number 1. And if you want to secure whether your answer is correct, we can check your answers. So we can do the checking. As for the checking, guys, we will use the original equation. We have 2x plus 5 is equal to 21. Now, we will substitute the value of x, which is 8. So this is 2 times 8 plus 5 is equal to 21. 2 times 8, this is 16 plus 5 is equal to 21. One. And as you can see, when we add this, this is 21, this is 21, are they equal? Yes. If they are equal, automatic, the value of eight, uh, the value of x, which is 8, is the correct answer. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 3b minus 4 is equal to 11. We need to find the value of b. Here, we need to eliminate first minus 4. So what is the inverse operation of minus? That is add. So we will add 4 on both sides of the equation. So this is negative 4 plus 4. This will become 0. Eliminate this one. So what we have is 3b is equal to 11 plus 4. That is 15. So as you can see, your coefficient 3 is besides the variable b. So if that is the case, what we need to do is to divide both sides of the equation because 3 and b implies multiplication. So to reverse that, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we can divide this, divide this. This is b is equal to 15 divided by 3. That would be 5. Now, to check whether our answer is correct, we can do the checking. 
So we will put here check in. Use the original equation. We have 3b minus 4 is equal to 11. Now, this is minus 4. Or by the way, we will substitute the value of b, which is 5. This is 3 times 5. Then minus 4 is equal to 11. Again, we replace b by 5 because b is equal to 5. This is equal to 15 minus 4 is equal to 11. 15 minus 4, that is 11. On the other side is 11. This is equal, meaning the value of x is correct. Now let's move on with item number 3 and number 4. For number 3, so we have negative 3x minus 8 is equal to 40. Don't worry about the negative sign. We will do something about it. So first thing we need to do, as you can see, we have minus 8 here. So to eliminate this one, what we need is to add 8 on both sides of the equation. Remove this, remove this, because that is 0. What we have now is negative 3x is equal to 40 plus 8. That is 40. 8. Now, look at the number. The coefficient beside x is negative 3. So what are, are we going to divide? Is it 3 or negative 3? Okay, the answer is we will divide it by negative 3. And negative divided by negative is positive 1. So we can simply cancel this one. What we have now is x is equal to 48 minus 3, that is negative 16. So, the value of x right now is negative 16. So, how are we going to check that if the value of x is negative 16? Same process, checking, using the original equation, that is negative 3x minus 8 is equal to 40. So remember, this is negative 16, copy first, negative 3, then enclose that by parentheses, negative 16, then minus 8 is equal to 40. Now, this negative times negative is positive, so again, when you multiply, negative times negative is positive, we have 3 times 16, which is equal to 48, minus 8 is equal to 40. Subtract these two numbers. This is 40. On the other side is also 40. So, as you can see, they are equal. Now guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve two-step equations. So, as part of our routine, I have here the fourth equation, 2x plus 3 is equal to 15. You can try this. And find x. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!